Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Chromebook tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record the screen on your Chromebook. So if you're trying to record things on your Chromebook, maybe games or PowerPoint presentations, really anything on your Chromebook, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to do that. And the method used in this tutorial is free, does not require you to download any software, and you can even include your webcam in your recordings. All right, so to record our screen on our Chromebook, we're going to be using a website called canva.com. And canva.com does have a pro version. And while all the steps in this tutorial you can follow using the free version, check the description because I'll have a link down there where you can get 30 days of Canva Pro for free. And that just gives you a ton of features on Canva, including editing, things like that. All right, so to get started with recording the screen on our Chromebook, go to canva.com or use the link in the description if you want to support this channel. Create your account and then go up to the top right, select create a design, and then go down to video. This will open up a new window on your Chromebook where we now have the ability to edit the video that we record. So to start recording our screen, what we need to do is go over in the left sidebar, select upload, and then you'll see the option for record yourself. Go ahead and select that. This will open up the Canva studio where the first thing we need to do is give Canva access to our microphone and the camera on our Chromebook. So if you wanna use those things in your recording, you're gonna to need to go up to, the, to this menu right here and select allow. So I'm going to do that. Once you do that, your webcam will start being shown on camera. And as you can see, you can see me right now. And you'll be able to see if your microphone is working by this little blue bar at the bottom right here, where it will show the sound level of your microphone. So if it's not working, go up into the top right. You'll see the microphone icon. You can select a different microphone if you have a different one. And then you can also select a different webcam if you're going to be using an external webcam, maybe one that plugs in via USB, something like that. So start sharing our screen with Canva so that we can record it. All we need to do is go up into the top right, select the little icon up here that looks like a person in a box, and then go down to screen share. And now we just need to tell Canva what to record on our Chromebook. So if you want it to be the entire screen, which will be everything on the screen, including the menu, settings, the launcher, everything like that, use the entire screen. After that, we have the ability to select a specific window. So maybe a game, a PowerPoint presentation, anything like that, and it'll just record that window. And then finally, we have the ability to record just a Chrome tab. So if you wanted to record just a single website, you could do that by selecting that single tab rather than everything on your Chromebook. I'm going to record the entire screen just so you can see what that looks like. So I'll select this one. And to do that, I just need to go ahead down, select it so the blue box is around it, and then select share. All right, so now we're ready to start recording. All we need to do to begin recording is go down, select record. It'll give you a countdown. And then there you go, it starts recording. And you can see it says recording up here. Now don't worry about the placement of your webcam down here. We can actually move that later while we're editing the video. Let's talk about the menu down here while you're recording. Now, if you messed up while you're recording, you can quickly delete the current recording by just selecting the trash can. You can also pause your current recording. Maybe if your dog starts barking, or you need to take a moment to prep something and you don't wanna to have to edit it out later. And then also once you're done recording, you just select done. So as you can see, if I go over here and I look at my website, I can talk to people with my webcam and then I can also interact with different things on the tab or on my Chromebook screen and those will be in the recording. So if I was gaming right now or doing a presentation, all of that would be captured, including if I open up the launcher, anything like that. Once we're done recording, all we need to do is select done right here. And then we can actually see an example of the recording. It'll start playing it. As you can see, once you're happy with your recording and you want to save it, go up to the top right, select save and exit. This will bring you back to where we can edit that video. And as you'll see, first it'll export the webcam right here, and then it's going to export the actual screen recording. So we actually have two different elements here. We have the webcam, where I can move that around. And then we have the actual recording of your screen. Now, the first thing I recommend doing once you get to this page is go up into the corners and just drag this to the very edge so that it's full screen. There you go. Then you can change the placement of your webcam by just dragging it around. And once you've done that, you're ready to export or edit your video if you want to. So if you just want to export, skip ahead. I'll show you how to do that. But I'm going to go through some quick editing tips so that people can edit their videos if you want to. Down here, we have the timeline. So if you select in there, you can move around and see different parts of the video. 
If you want to split or cut the video, all you need to do is right click and then go up to split right here. And as you can see, that will cut that. And from here, we can drag and change the length if we want to kind of trim off a portion of that video. If you have multiple clips like this where I split it, you can add a transition by hitting the plus symbol and then going down and selecting add transition. And we can actually add a blurring effect. So I'm just going to quickly move the webcam and show you what that looks like. So if I play it, you'll see the webcam move kind of like that. Pretty cool. So you can do that with different things. You can add different elements to your recording. If you wanted to add any of the images up here, you could do that. So you can go in here, you can customize your videos, you can change the placement of the webcam, and you can also add elements and images to your videos as well. Once you're ready to actually export your recording, all you need to do is go up to the top right, select Share, then scroll all the way down and select Download. You want to make sure that you download the file type as an MP4 video. And then with the pages, if you've made splits when you're editing your video, you just want to make sure that you're downloading all pages, then select Download. It's going to start rendering that video, which might take a couple minutes depending on the size of the video. It's, once it's done rendering, you'll be able to save the file to your Chromebook, come up with a name, and then select Save. It'll then download the video to your Chromebook, where then you can either open it up like I just did, or you can do whatever you want with it, such as upload it to YouTube or share it across social media. All right, so that's how you record the screen on your Chromebook using Canva. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Chromebook or Canva tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.